Hi, and welcome to section 3.4 for Math 181. This is the first of two videos. And in section 3.4, we're looking at, as I alluded to in the end of 3.1, uh, we're still dealing with the exponential function. But now it's an application of it, which is exponential growth or decay. So for my science majors, for my sociology majors, this is things like bacteria growth or population growth or for my nuclear physicists out there, radioactive decay. How long does it take for the potency of something to wear off? That's what we're talking about in this section. So I'm not going to go in, you guys know by now I don't deal with uh, showing you the derivation of formulas. It's in the book, section 3-4, if you want to see it. But without going into the derivation, we have the following. My function y of t is equal to y of 0, e, that's my value from the end of uh, section 3-1, to the kt power, where we have the following. So k is a constant, so it's just some number, that doesn't change on us. k is greater than zero if we're talking about growth. k is less than zero if we're talking about decay. t is time, and y zero is my starting value. So as we'll see in this example, if I'm talking about population growth, I have to know what was the original population value, and then from there I can figure out an exponential growth formula. So let's look at an example. Uh, so I'm going to erase this. Should I? I better not. So I'll leave this for the time being. So we have the following example using this idea of exponential growth or decay. So in 1950, the world population was 2,560 million people. So that's what? 2.56 billion. But we're using it in terms of million here. Ten years later, so in 1960, the world population was 3,040 million. So we want two questions. First, let's call it A. What is the relative growth rate And this is just asking us, what's our value for k? k is our growth rate in this case. It was said relative decay rate. That would be if we're talking about like radioactive material decaying. And then once we find that k, we can generate a formula, an exponential growth equation, and we can use that to estimate. So we want to know what's the estimated population in 1993. So, first thing we need to do is figure out k. And we can do that how? Well, our original formula, so we're going to use p because we're talking about population here. So, p at times t is p of 0, or the original population I was dealing with, 2560, times e to the k t power. So that's the generalized formula. So if I know how much time I'm talking about, I can plug that in for my value of t, and if I know k, I can figure out the rest. But first I need to figure out k. And I can do that how? Well, with this second piece of information I was given. It tells me in 1960, so that was what? That was time is equal to 10 years later. So at 10 years later, I was 3,040. 2560e to the k 
times 10. So from that second line of information, given my original equation, P of 10, which is 3,040, is 2560e to the 10k. Now it's taking some logs, doing some algebra. So first thing, if I divide both sides by the 2560, that gives me e to the 10k. So if I take the natural log of both sides, natural log of e, what happens? Well, they basically cancel each other out, right? So I get natural log of 3040 over 2560 is equal to 10k. So divide both sides by 10 tells me that k is basically 0 0.0171. So that's my value for k. My relative growth rate, well, that would be a percentage. So I need to multiply this by 100, move the decimal places two places. So the growth rate is, if I move it two places, 1.71% per year. So it's saying that every year the population grows by 1.7%. Now, the second question, part B, so that was part A. Part B, I want to estimate what's the population going to be in 1993. So that means what? From the original 1950 down to 1993 was how many years? That was 43 years. So I already know my K, 0 0.0171. The only thing I don't know now is my T, which I mean I know it, it's 43, I figured that out. So I can just say that P, the population in 43 years, is going to be 2560E to the T, which is 43, times my value of K, 0 0.0171. Get out your calculator, calculate this, E to that power times 2560 says that the population in 43 years, the population in 1993, would be roughly 5,360 million people, or 5.36 billion people. So that's it for video one. So introduction, what are we talking about, growth or decay? If we're talking about decay, what's going to happen? Well, K is just going to be a negative number. But the process for the problem would be the exact same. We're given, oops, given some starting value. In a certain amount of time, the amount of that value has dropped. Therefore, our K is negative. And we can also use it um, as an estimator out into the future. So come on back. We're going to look at two special cases for exponential growth uh, or decay. And uh, that will wrap up section 3.4.